I on a man from Soweto. And I just wanted to, yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I just wanted to make another video because it's been a while and I also wanted to expand on my last video which I in hindsight I, I feel like I'm dying to say that like I made my point but as I'm in Kele was in you know and I just wanted to talk about a rape culture some more I mean I will not apologize for the fact that even though intellectually I know Uti, nothing I do on my side is the cause of rape culture nothing survivors do is a cause of what happens to them you know but i will still think of strategies and ways like exit doors as a means of survival which at the end of the day is what that video was about like i still want that oh come i still want a pepper spray i still want is do you know even though i know we'll see sometimes those things are siblings sometimes it might not even protect me na, or my sister or our thing you know but as films as black women or as women <laughs> i'm a black woman i'm a black woman as women as a whole you know see see pillar in that in that perpetual how do i get out how do i run how do i hide should this get mad because it's part of the patriarchy and the rape culture it's an intrinsic part and it is what it is until we come up it's going to stay there and i won't apologize for thinking of strategies but however i wanted to share three three count them free strategies on how you can help combat and stop rape and stop a rape culture in your circle circle of friends you know and i'm sharing those here today the crowd goes mad okay number one don't rape that's a big one don't rape like if she's passed out if they're passed out if they say no if they change their minds if like they are a ghost they're spiritually there but they're like no it's not sex the only thing that constitutes sex is when they're like yes willingly and they're there with you like other than that it's rape so don't rape talk to your friends about not raping talk to your friends about consent and just build that thing man that understands that unama boundary in life in me. That's always attentive in bed, so you don't wake up exhaling and be like, "Oh my goodness, I thought you meant yes." Like, don't be that guy. Don't be that woman. Don't be that person. Number two, talk to your friend about friends. Among them, back Talk to your friends about what causes a rape. Number one. It's not rape survivors. Number two, it's not short skirts or other clothes. Number three, it's not what women, themes, men are doing. It's not that they're upside down or twerking or breathing. It's not. That does not cause a rape. It's the fact that people, often men, sometimes women, Sometimes people outside of the gender spectrum are the ones who cannot listen, who cannot control themselves, who cannot just be decent, who want all the power. Why did I say power like that? But yeah, just talk to your friends about what causes rape. When they start talking about what was she wearing, what was he doing, correct, you know, correct yourselves yourself even number three number three number three talk to your friends talk to yourself about what leads to sex buying drinks does not have to lead to sex 
being a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever does not have to lead to sex. The person saying yes to kissing you and entering your bed does not have to lead to sex, might not lead to sex. The only thing that leads to sex is someone saying yes, 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 a sense and continuously saying yes and continuously I mean if someone says stop stop yeah don't perpetuate your culture not land all right sharp oh comment and share your own free strategies on how we as Abantu can stop combat cut out Add a rape culture in our circles. Sekele, sekele, bula, chop.